five years ago, Essendon and AFL Victoria uh, started an Indian Auskick Centre in Craigieburn, uh, which has been running for five years now. Uh, and when I started two years ago at my role, um, engaging with the community, I realized um, there were several challenges that the community was facing as to how the kids can continue playing competitive footy uh, and not just Auskick every year. That's how the idea of forming a new club came up in Craigieburn, which has been named as Hume Bombers because the Bombers are supporting the club. Here we are, where the Hume Bombers have finished their first season successfully. The biggest challenge we had uh, to people to understand the game as an Indian community and as a me myself Indian, um, you know, from coming from Punjab, Punjabi background, you know, it's it's this game was like we haven't seen it before, uh, especially back home. We never played it, we never seen it, but slowly, slowly down the track. Now the kids grown up, they born here, and uh, yeah, now they are they understand the game very well. And uh, from uh, as a Essendon Football Club was a great help uh, taking uh, Indian community to the matches, live matches. That was a great help uh, for the Indian community. Uh, Essendon has been contributing significantly to the Hume Bombers in means of uh, having myself go out to all of the trainings every night, uh, just educating and um, you know teaching the community members of how it is to run a footy club in Australia because the culture back in India is very different. It's not much of a voluntary culture. Uh, parents would probably not come into the games and you know hang around or help out. They'll probably just drop their kids and go off. So yeah, it's a lot of cultural education both ways from Australia and India. And uh, apart from that, we've been you know uh, helping out with a lot of merchandise and uh, free tickets, free game experience for the kids. Uh, and here they are uh, today at the club, training with some of the best players of the Bombers. And uh, they're actually getting an experience that many other clubs, community clubs across the country would envy them for. So uh, I think support has been massive. We've got the coaches out to the club and given them some uh, master classes for coaching. So we are trying to help out in every way possible. So yesterday we had the Hume Bombers under nines play their final game of the ADFL season 2018 against St. Francis at Oak Park. Uh, so we kind of build it as a community day for all the parents and the Indian community to come out and cheer for Hume Bombers. And um, Essendon Football Club uh, you know, created some special medallions for the young uh, stars of the future, uh, which says uh, founding uh, member of the inaugural team of Hume Bombers. So yeah, so uh, it was good to see some of the skills of a few players who were really good. And uh, I think everyone ha was happy when they got those Essendon Football Club medals around the neck. And every one of them is wearing those medals, and they, 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 they were they appreciated that, and they were so excited. Oh, I'm gonna meet my superstars, you know, today, and they wear those medals, and that means a lot to them. Yeah, I think uh, Hume Bombers is the perfect stepping stone for a long-term dream of actually getting an Indian play in the AFL, uh, because we all know this that once uh, an Indian plays in the AFL an entire nation of 1.2 billion people will start following the sport. So I think this is where to start and nurture the kids from the right age and see them through the next five or ten years to see an Indian superstar at the AFL. I think that would be massive. That would be massive and uh, that is uh, when I think and when I stay back, have a coffee and I thought, okay, I see one of those kids playing one day for SNN, if not any other club, uh, I would prefer them to play them for SNN uh, because we have a very good relationship from last five years and it's growing every year. Um, definitely it would be a massive, massive achievement uh, for uh, Indian community. One of the kids go back and play uh, senior level footy.